got a little bit done. I have wiring done. So popping out of the bench uh, waterproof sockets for the wire to come out. And the wire obviously will hook up to the element. I have these waterproof three pin plugs that will be connecting onto there and then into the little junction boxes. So those have been drilled through. Also been drilled through for the heat exchanger. And there's one drilled through down in the back corner for the HLT as well. It's all nice and tidy underneath here. So all the wires underneath the bench have all been cable tied and clipped up underneath the bench. All plugged in. This is one of the benefits of working in IT, you get all the spare power leads from service. There's a um, a future proofing cable for anything else that needs to come through for power. So I made sure I ran one of those. And the HLT cable going up in the corner. This big main conduit is the one that's running the main power in. So everything all connected up. I'm leaving the plugs on and just plugging everything in. And all the cable ties hold all the plugs together. So if I do need to pull something out, there's no unscrewing. I just got to snip a couple of the table cars. Table, table. Just got to clip some of the cable ties and away we go. So, oh, hello. Hello, brew cat. What are you doing? Hmm? Sniff, 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 sniff. So, they're all tidied, going in their respective holes. And the other thing I've done is I've got the pump in place. Now, the bracket is just a temporary bracket at the moment, so just so that I could just hold it in place and make sure I had it at the right height. And then I'll make a better bracket for it. But I drilled a hole through the bench and that goes into the triclover. Got a union joint here so I can unscrew it and take the whole thing away. And I've got a tap at the lowest point so I can drain everything. And the inlet is a triclover coming into the pump. It still needs to be squared up a little bit. It's just sort of temporarily mounted in there. I just need to square up the pipes a tad. And connecting up the pipe work. So this is the fun bit. Just slowly going through and trying to position everything and work out how big a pipe I need to make the little connections that are fixed in place that aren't going to get any bigger. And connecting everything up, I've got a nice little ensemble of uh, 90 degree bends here so that I've got lots of play in this pipe for how I position stuff. Oh yeah, that would be it. Oh, but I have powered up the pump, so if I turn it on. That's the sound of the pump running with no water in it, so I better not do that. Uh, I ran it yesterday uh, for a good couple of hours, and. I had to change. Well, when I first set it up, I put a no return valve in it when it came back out so that no water could go back down. And then I realized if I need to flush the whole system, the pump's the lowest point. And so if there was water on the other side of it, I couldn't flush it out. So I took that out, replaced it with a ball valve. Um, so now I can flush the whole system if I need to down to the bottom. That little pipe will be connected to the main sink pipe that comes out as well, so it'll flush into it, not my temporary waste drain here, which is my bucket. Anyway, that's that. Got lots of bits and pieces that turned up last week, so I could lots of all the triclovers from everybody that's uh, brought a t-shirt, so good stuff. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. It is St. Patrick's Day today, today. so I'm going to go inside. I've been around with my brothers, had a quick drink with them. Gonna go inside now, sit down and relax and watch a movie and have a beer. Cheers.